What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. My subject today is about women are starting to get nervous as fuck because more men are going red pill. The reason why I'm making this video is to share with those who notice it and wonder why, those who have already gone red pill or those who are considering to go red pill and need more information to strengthen their decision to go red pill. Or for those of you who never heard of it, I might have heard a little bit of it and might become a little bit more interested want to know a little bit more about it. Then by all means, tune in and let's get started. Shout outs to everybody. Please continue to like, share, and comment on my videos. Shout outs to all of my viewers for viewing my channel, supporting my channel, subscribing to my channel, and, excuse me, sorry about that, and donating to my channel. By all means, continue to do so, for I said it before and I say it again. For without you, I am nothing. And I appreciate that. So by all means, continue to look out for my super chat, t-shirt line, uh, live streaming, and many other platforms. Um, hit that subscribe button for two reasons. I make videos constantly. You have a chance to win cash and to my new viewers. Welcome. Hit that subscribe button for the same reason. And don't forget to smash that like button as well. So let's get started. Yes, indeed. Women are starting to get nervous as fuck because more men are going red pill. And, um, you know, here are, I would say, my top five reasons on why I believe they're getting nervous as fuck about it. <clears throat> men have been getting married less and less each year. Because, thanks to the internet, thanks to MGTOW, thanks to men just in general, revealing the true female predatorial hidden sides of women, it has heightened and strengthen our judgment that when we look at a woman, we can now look at her with confidence and enjoy her beauty and maybe still think about fucking her. But we also know that that is an individual that is just a body. Not one to be disrespected or mocked or disregarded as nothing. No, a body. Because when a woman marries a man, she marries a lifestyle. But we know and understand thanks to the internet and many YouTube creators, has shared that us as a man only marries a body, and we know what that body means, the beautiful face, the tits, the ass, the pussy. That's right, the pussy. Right. So we know and understand that now. So it's like, well, I don't need to fucking marry her just to get some pussy. You know, we know that when we bust that nut, the oh, 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 it's like that pussy was good, I'm gonna here to take a shower, Going to finish my day. Enjoyed it with her. Still respectful and nice to her. But we know that we don't need to be, oh, she's the one. Oh, I got to have that pussy. Ain't no, ain't no man better not touch that. I'll fuck somebody up. Mm -mm. No, no. Because we know and understand that she's a woman and that I'm a man and that you a man. And those, we have two different brains. You know, while you getting your nut off, you thinking, yeah, I'm going to marry her. She thinking, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I told him I was on the pill. Really, he don't know. He just got me pregnant, and I'm going to go on and <clears throat> get a baby out of him. Okay. Or well, I might just, you know, gank him for abortion money over and over again. You know, now they can even order this thing and stick with it, make it look like they pregnant. And she'll go and just gank you for false, you know, uh, abortions um, or a baby, child support. Uh, what else? What else can she do to you? All kind of crazy shit. So see, that's that's the, that's one of the reasons why they get nervous. See, because their futuristic desire 
They see in that fade away forever. So they're getting nervous as fuck. <clears throat> Number two. Women are posting their videos about how they hate uh, that men are going red pill and they still refuse to admit in their videos that us as men are absolutely right for doing so. Why? Because if she admits to it, then she got to look herself in the mirror and accept full responsibility. And that's something I learned that women simply won't ever do. Even if you catch them red-handed, purple-handed, yellow-handed, orange-handed, green-handed, it doesn't matter what color it is, they will not accept responsibility for their own behavior. So in this case, all this does to men is get us to understand that it is time to move on. We just understand that they're only good for a fuck. That's it. A good fuck. And maybe, you know, a romantic fuck or a lovemaking fuck. It's just still a fuck. And that's it. We have no bitterness. We have none of that. And we've just moving on. And they can't fucking stand it. And I'm like, well, that's just too bad. Like I said before, where women mess up at is that they always go too far. Too far. Or it's like, okay, you know what? Maybe we should just leave them alone altogether. You know, because it's really hard to get no pussy for, from a woman as long as you got some money. You generally talk with some sense. And take ass, just ask if she want to go out and she's hungry. And all you say those powerful words, my treat. She's going to go for it. She don't work for 40 hours anymore. Um, what else? Let's see what else about that. Um, even if she has a career, most of them work a four day work week. Most of them get paid, it has a career, and most of them get paid once every two weeks. So she's short 16 hours of pay. So it ain't, it ain't hard to get the pussy. You know, as long as you, you know, pay for the dinner and all that shit and buy something for her birthday or Christmas and all that, the pussy's pretty much yours to enjoy. Not yours, that it belongs to you. Nope, that had never, ever, ever, ever happened because most women are whores. If you want to know more about it, watch my video I made called uh, She's Not Yours, It's Just Your Turn. And you will understand why I mean that most of them are just whores. You know, she has to sell that pussy and that pussy scent before menopause hit. So she ain't trying to settle down with you at all. That's not in her plan. Her mind is pretty much uh, that song by Hall and Oates, Man Eater. Doom, 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 doom. Nice song. Very true. Now let's go to number three. Women are getting highly upset that we as men clearly see through their bullshit faster than the speed of sound because of the internet. Yes, the internet. See, before the internet, there was always some men in all communities that always dropped the word of wisdom on them. Okay. And that was helpful, but see, the internet, we all know how powerful and fast the internet is. It's like a mouse trying to catch a jaguar. Ain't happening. We know that jaguar animals can run 70 miles per hour. And she's upset because game over. You know, the internet can show the signs when a woman is lying to you. Or signs when a woman is intending to lie to you. She says, well, it could show that it could show that a woman really is genuinely interested in you. And I'm saying that to say this. She's just pissed the fuck off about it. And getting more and more nervous as fuck. The next one, number four. Women are forced to see and accept reluctantly that without us, us men. They no longer have a future for themselves and they never ever will ever again. Because none of this works if a man is not interested in a woman. 
you know, um, they did it to themselves, like they usually do. You know, it's just the only difference is it's then caught up with them universally. Uh, black men don't are the only ones that are red pill. The white man is red pill. The Chinese man is red pill. The Mexican man is red pill. The Arabic man is red pill. You know, it's just spilling universal where it's like, nope, they need to be left alone. Because not to be left alone to teach them a lesson and they'll learn and we're the man. No, leave them alone and tell the truth to them about it. And they can't stand the truth. Period. So they thought that blind you with the pussy would keep them away from ever being have to face and accept the truth of their skanky, demonic, premeditated evil. No, I still sniff the pussy. Of course, got a nose, and I, I still enjoy the scent of a woman's pussy, you know. But now, when I sniff, I know and understand what I'm sniffing. Okay, a woman will not let you ever, ever, ever smell the pussy for free. She may tell you that, but she always have a hidden fine print somewhere to charge your ass for it. Well, see, now it's like, you know what? I'll still fuck you, but that's it. Okay. Gotta let you go. Because you're poison, 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 poison. And it's true. And we have number five. We are understanding that most women are their own worst enemy. And they're content with being such. See, the, the only power that a woman has is the power that the man has given to them. And we have taken all that back now. Okay, not just the black man. It's the white man, Chinese man, the Indian man, the Arabic man, the Mexican man, you know. And it's like, no, she's only good for fuck. That's it. Okay, no one on no kids. Mm -mm. If she's having those kids for pawn usage. Not for love, not to raise a happy family and we live heavy, ha happily ever after. No, she's a female predatory, wow, premeditated beast. You know, and she doesn't like to be called on her bullshit, even though she won't stop her bullshit. See, so she's gotten a little too high off her own pussy fumes. That. Just like somebody smoking too much weed and being paranoid or somebody drinking too much alcohol that's over the legal limit. They are considered drunk and has to take a DUI and uh, a blood test and, hey, walk that straight line. I'm like, I can go. But same with women. Women that got too high on their own pussy fumes, being in the bathroom with the door closed too motherfucking much, got her legs open, smelling her own pussy fumes. Hmm. Well, I can get this. Well, I can get that. See, but all that only worked when the man gave power to her. And we've took that back down. And now she's powerless. So, viewers, put your comments in the comments section. I want to know, how do you feel about it? And don't forget, hit that uh, donation link in my description section to make a donation so that I can continue to bring you quality material content. Don't you go anywhere.